Rory Stewart went on Navarra's downstream of Ash Saka and actually made some good points about Jeremy Corbyn. Take a look. I want to move on from Jeremy Corbyn, but I mean, it's kind of striking that he's another 2019 casualty, right? Incidentally, I think it's disgusting he was thrown out of the Labour Party. Just as I also think it was pretty peculiar that Boris Johnson kicked out two chances, the Exchequer, six cabinet ministers, Winston Churchill's grandson, and the rest of us out of the Conservative Party. I mean, it's mad. Jeremy Corbyn, whatever you think of him, is a major figure who represents a very significant part of Labour history and heritage. He was the leader of the party. Why do you think Keir Starmer did it? I think he is running a very controlling business with about three or four people trying to micromanage the Labour Party. Obviously, this is a refreshing take to hear since, well, we only hear this from leftists, but Stuart is obviously completely correct. Now, I made a prediction after I watched the clip that you'll see how quickly the centrist mob, who pretty much lionised this guy, turn on him. Well, they didn't disappoint. Just stupid. Like, so stupid it has lowered my opinion of him. Expelling Jeremy Corbyn for multiple good reasons is hardly the same as pushing out all the moderates from the Tory party. Starmer has done exactly what he needed to do to get Labour electable. Rory Stewart thinks Corbyn's treatment by Labour was mad and disgusting. I personally think it was mad and disgusting to react to the publication of the EHRC's report into anti-Semitism in his Labour party by denying anti-Semitism. But hey ho, and then this post has a screenshot of Corbyn's statement in which the person highlights a sentence which literally contradicts what the poster says. Corbyn didn't deny anti-Semitism existed, he talked about the scale of it. At least if you're going to make a statement, maybe proofread it first before you hit send. There's one more from Emma Picken. Hey Rory Stewart, did you miss the bit where Jews were treated illegally in labour? I mean, did this not even register with you? Jesus fucking Christ. So Picken claims that labour illegally mistreated Jewish people, which is technically correct, yet Rory Stewart was talking about Corbyn in particular. Of course, Picken is insinuating that it's all Corbyn's fault and de facto he treated Jewish people illegally, which if you read the EHRC, she is wrong. The EHRC report doesn't implicate Corbyn. Instead, it found that two members acted unlawfully, which they were removed from the party. Now, two people out of half a million members. Are you expecting Corbyn to have complete control over what half a million people say? It, it's bonkers. There's obviously more tweets out there, but you, you kind of get the point. But these centrist melts, they love or they loved Rory Stewart because he was the perfect kind of politician for them. Someone with a right-wing voting record, but optically engaged in civility politics. But as we know, in reality, centrists tend to be more on the right of the political spectrum. Reason being is that some are embarrassed to call themselves right-wing, so they cower behind the centrist label. Uh, the other is because generally those or these people don't have principled political beliefs about them. Rather, it's just vibes. Now, when you have that mindset, that usually means that actual politics is on the right. We're also thinking kind words, being polite and virtue signaling is the essence of what politics actually is. Although one principal stance they all have in common is blindly hating Jeremy Corbyn, which is why it's easy to turn on those they previously held in high regard, like Rory Stewart. Stewart also made a really good point about Corbyn's politics and that he represents a significant portion of the people. This is again correct. If you look at the London mayor polling, Corbyn is on 15% and that's him not even announcing he's running. Then of course you have the Labour membership ballooning to the largest party in Europe. Uh, there's always thousands of people willing to hear him speak, even after four years from stepping down as Labour leader. There's millions of people who want nationalisation, an end to austerity, high taxes on the rich, high minimum wage, stronger unions, abolishing, abolishing tuition fees. Yet no political party offers this. This is a significant portion because it's the majority. Poll after poll shows the policies I mentioned are supported by most voters. And some of the issues, such as nationalisation, is even popular with Tory voters. So regardless of people's political allegiances, whether they personally liked Corbyn or how they feel about certain political parties, you have a significant portion of society who want to see policies championed by Jeremy Corbyn. So I agree with Rory Stewart. Corbyn is still a major figure in British politics, and the sensible centrists can't handle it.